On today's video, we'll be looking for the best 3D printed shelf brackets, from more traditional designs to ones that are only possible with 3D printing. We'll be testing to see how much weight they can hold, as well as long-term stability. So let's get to the testing and see which of these brackets hold up. The first shelf bracket we'll be testing caught our eye for its unique design. Although the title says no supports are needed, we tried printing it both ways, with and without supports. We found that the one with supports overall printed a lot better. It also appears to be a great design for multicolored filaments. This bracket and all the other designs we're going to be testing will be printed with PETG. To keep the testing and comparisons as close as possible, we'll be printing them all with 6 walls and 25% infill. Other than that, we'll always stick as closely as we can to the designer's recommended settings. Overall the print came out well. We found this area here to be the only one that turned out a little rough due to the lack of supports. As previously mentioned, when we tried to print again, this time with supports, we were able to see a much smoother end result. We built a small test wall consisting of 16 inch on center 2x4 studs sheathed in half inch drywall. We then fastened each bracket with one and a quarter coarse thread screws. We'll be looking at overall shelf stability and any signs that the brackets might be starting to fail. The starting point for each shelf will be 30 pounds. Assuming that goes well, we'll then check the shelf over and continue to add more weight until we see any change. Even at 80 pounds, it's looking like the shelf is remaining very square to the wall. Well, let's go for 100 pounds and see how it does. I'm really surprised, despite all that weight, it's not showing any signs of failure. Now that we know that this bracket is capable of holding 100 pounds and still being very stable, we're going to leave it for 8 days and record any change. We'll show the results at the end of the video, but now, on to the next shelf. Our next design we'll be looking at comes through some quick tune. We chose to test four larger and four smaller brackets. This design is the first we'll be looking at in the smaller category. Since it's comprised of three separate parts, you can opt to have the hexagon pattern be a separate color. If needed, there's also a helpful GIF explaining the installation. There are no issues importing the files, and we'll be sticking with the same infill and number of walls as the larger brackets. Overall, the print turned out nice. We did see a small quality issue with the overhang on the underside of the arch, but other than that, some minor cleanup is all that's needed. All the parts of this bracket fit together quite nicely, and no adjustments needed to be made. At 30 pounds, the shelf is already flexing quite a bit. This is partially due to the shelf overhanging the brackets, but as you'll see later in the video, some of the smaller brackets we tested didn't have this issue. Keep in mind with our tests, we're not trying to see at what weight these rip off the wall, we're trying to see at what weight you can reliably use these shelf brackets at for long periods of time. So at 60 pounds, you can start to see the shelf get pretty unstable and become out of square even more. But the part that would make me the most concerned is the bracket is starting to pull away from the wall, so I think we'll call it there for this shelf. This next bracket we printed is from M. Nielsen. It's a traditional design and there's 11 different sizes available. We printed bracket 6 for our testing. Importing the file was easy and everything looks in order, so let's get it printed and see how it does. The bracket came out looking really clean and I'm pretty sure this is due to the orientation it was printed in. This design is very reminiscent of one you might find in a hardware store and it's so cool to me that instead of buying a shelf bracket, you can print one at home. So I actually didn't realize this until I was watching the footage back, but you can start to see the left hand bracket begin to bend and fail at 50 pounds. However, since I didn't notice it at the time, we continued testing and at 80 pounds, it's very noticeable. So knowing what I know now, I would say that this shell failed at 50 pounds. This next bracket, which is a remix by Ken Mills, is a nice one-piece design and we really liked the consideration for access and the diagonal support when fastening the bracket to the wall. 
There's multiple sizes to choose from, and we went with the 125 millimeter option. The print came out well, but it did struggle with bridging on the top side of the oval opening on the diagonal support. If we were to print this one again, I would try using some tree supports to try and get rid of that. I understand that not every creator necessarily designed their brackets to hold this much weight, so I'm not saying any of the designs we are testing are inherently bad, but I do think it's interesting to see what these designs are capable of so that you can choose which one's right for you. I'm not sure I would say this design is failing, but it's starting to pull away from the wall and flex a little too much for my liking. I don't want to have to worry about a shelf. I want to set it and forget it. And with this amount of weight, I would be worried about the shelf collapsing. So I'm going to call it there. Up next, we have a really interesting organic design. Since the first one we tested went so well, I'm interested to see how this one compares. The creator of this bracket, Piled 3D, has a 14 minute video about the design process and what it takes to create something like this. This is another great example of a design that would be very difficult to create any other way but with 3D printing. Our printer seemed to struggle quite a bit with this one. The overhangs resulted in a few rough surfaces and a fair bit of stringing. I found that designer does offer some insights on his YouTube video for adjusting the settings on your printer to achieve a better finished product. So if you're considering printing this design for yourself, I would give that a watch. One thoughtful feature we liked in this design is there's a fork in the branches that allows for access to install the fasteners. A quick tip is you will need a long enough bit holder or screwdriver to install the brackets. The bracket and shelf are still looking great at 50 pounds. Let's continue on up to 80 pounds and see how it does. So this design did great and remained square all the way up to 80 pounds, but at 100 pounds it's just starting to flex and not be square to the wall. Regardless, it's really impressive what these organic designs are capable of. Up next in the smaller bracket category, we have a design by Ocular Dynamic. Looks like they suggest three walls and 15% infill, but in order to match the other brackets we printed, we'll be bumping that up to six walls and 25% infill. The print turned out nicely, and we didn't experience any issues other than some layer lines. One maker in the comments printed this bracket in an angled configuration to get consistent layer lines. So if the aesthetics of the bracket are important to you, that might be worth trying. So this bracket isn't looking too promising, especially when compared to how the other brackets looked holding this amount of weight. It's not square to the wall, but just for fun, let's see if it can take 50 pounds. Yeah, I wouldn't trust 50 pounds of fine china on this bracket. Realistically, I wouldn't go over 15 pounds on this one. All right, this is the last of the smaller brackets we'll be taking a look at, and hopefully, since it looks like it was designed by a Viking, it'll be as strong as one too. The designer, Colbert Riley, says no supports are needed and we had no issues importing the files. So let's get this one on the printer and see how it performs. This was one of the quickest brackets to print and it turned out great. Just some minor stringing to clean up, but that shouldn't be an issue. This bracket seems to be very well thought out from the design itself to the orientation it's printed in. Everything looks really nice. I like how the creator of this bracket used the two-part design to his advantage to hide the fasteners. It gives it a very clean look, and it looks like at 60 pounds, this small shelf is still square to the wall. I'm very impressed. It looks like we finally have a winner in the smaller shelf bracket category. 
This unassuming design has turned out to be amazingly strong and stable, and it's still square to the wall, even at 100 pounds. This is the last of the shelf brackets we're going to be testing, and it's a bit different from the others as it's an overhead design. The designer provides some helpful information regarding suggested fasteners, and he provides three different shelf sizes to choose from. You can only fit one of these at a time on the Bamboo X1 Carbon, so keep that in mind with the print times. Overall the print turned out very clean, and the only area we needed to clean up was by the fastener holes. I do have a bit of concern about the thin layering at the keyhole, so in a long term application I would recommend using washers or larger screws to help address this issue. So one of the things we discovered about this bracket is even at light weights, the shelf will bend and become just out of square with the wall, but once it settles in at that weight, it doesn't get any worse with time or become more out of square with heavier weights. The shelf is one of my favorites for its stability, and the brackets would serve double purpose as great bookends. Well, although this one is slightly out of square, it does seem to be another top contender for strength based on how stable the shelf seems, even with all that weight on it. So I'm going to test this one out for 8 days as well to see how it holds up long term. As previously mentioned, out of all the designs we tested, I picked my two favorite larger bracket designs, which are the Organic Bracket by User and the Overhead Bracket by Maker. I put 100 pounds on them and left them for 8 days, and here are the results. I checked them for squareness and any signs of the bracket failing at 24 and 72 hours, and then again at 8 days. And the Organic Bracket did fantastic, no change whatsoever. And here's the Overhead Bracket. Although it started slightly out of square, it doesn't seem to get any worse with time, so I feel confident in recommending this one as well. The winner of the smaller bracket category is clearly the design by Cobra Riley, but I understand the Nordic style might not be everybody's cup of tea. So here's our lineup of our recommendations. Hopefully you found something that you like and want to print yourself. In part two of this video, we'll be installing the shelf brackets in a non-temperature controlled space for six months to see how they hold up in the long term. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.